as we're factoring, sometimes we'll find there's no greatest common factor we can factor out. And we'll need to find some other strategy that we can use in order to get it into its factored form or written as a product. One method we use, if there are four terms in the problem, is grouping. Grouping means we find the GCF of the left and right sides. Then we can factor out the binomial GCF. If it matches, that is. Oops, GFC. GCF, greatest common factor. So for example, if we look at 15xy plus 10y minus 18x minus 12, we'll see there's really nothing in common that we can divide each and every term by. So what we'll do is we're going to split the problem in half and just look at the left side and the right side. Notice when I split it in half, I split it after the second term before the sign. That negative goes with the 18. So looking at the left side, the GCF of the left side, both 15 and 10, can be divided by 5. They also have a y in common. So if we factor out the 5y, we're left with 3x plus 10 divided by 5 is 2, and the y completely divides out. Now we'll look at the right side. In the right side, let me change colors, We've got negative 18x minus 12. Here's a hint about grouping. Whatever that sign is in front, we're going to factor out that same sign in our GCF. So 12 and 18 both have 6 in common. So we're going to factor out negative 6, matching the sign from the middle. There's no variables in common, so all we can do is factor out the 6. 18, negative 18 divided by 6 is positive 3x. Negative 12 divided by negative 6 is positive 2. Be very careful of your signs. And then we look at what's left. Do the binomials match? They sure do. They both have this 3x plus 2. So we can factor out the 3x plus 2. And then what's left, 5y minus 6, becomes the other factor. 5y minus 6. And now the expression is completely factored. We can always check our work when factoring by multiplying out the expression. So if I wanted to check if this was right and we multiplied it out with FOIL, 3x times 5y would be 15xy. Notice that's the first term from the problem. 3x times negative 6 is negative 18x. That's the third term. It won't always be in order, but they should all be here. 2 times 5y is plus 10y, there's that second term, and 2 times negative 6 is negative 12, there's the last term. So you'll notice we get the same thing we started with. That's a good check on factoring, is does it give you the original problem when you multiply it out? Let's try factoring the second example. Again, there's no GCF, so we're going to use this grouping trick splitting right after the second term, before the next sign. And look at the left side, 6x squared plus 3xy. They're both divisible by 3. They also both have an x in common. 6x squared divided by 3x is going to be 2x. And 3xy divided by 3x, all that's left is the plus y. And we then go to the second side. The sign in the middle tells us we're going to be taking a positive GCF out. And we look at 2x and y. What do they have in common? Well, nothing, really. If nothing is in common, we want to factor something out. Everything is always divisible by 1. So if there's nothing you can pull out, just divide out a 1, whether it's a positive 1 or negative 1. That always depends on the sign in the middle. In this case, it's a positive 1, so 2x divided by positive 1 is 2x, and y divided by positive 1 is just y. And now we start noticing that the 2x plus y is in common on both. 
So we'll factor out that common factor of 2x plus y. And what's left, 3x plus 1, becomes the last factor. Again, if we wanted to check this, we could multiply it out using FOIL, and it would give you the exact same thing we started with. Factoring means write it as a product. If there's no GCF of the whole thing, but we have four terms, we can split it left and right, and factor out the GCF of the left and right, and hopefully we'll end up with a binomial GCF that matches.